So I'll go ahead and work with this a little more and then we'll start our next curve. So as I look at my reference here, so I'm noticing like there's a patch a little more darker here. It lightens up here, it's a little more orange. See there's kind of a shape here, dark. It comes up into this area. Okay, there's a little smaller shape of dark there. It runs along here. And there's one up here. So these little smaller variations of dark and light, they're like very, um, they're like little shapes, but without hard edges, very soft edge shapes. That's what I'm looking for, soft, very soft edge. Okay, I continue to kind of bring these darks up with just this one color. So this is all more fully um, developed as a shadow, light and shadow drawing using color. Okay. Because in this And I'll start to go over the drawing with this. Makes it a little warmer at this point. So the drawing can kind of go back and forth between warm and cool. That means more towards orange or more towards magenta. But um, I'll make that decision as I go where to push that warm or cool feeling. I'll make that decision as I go where to push that warm or cool feeling. Okay, I'm going to add actually a little orange color here. This is vermilion. You could do it with another orange color so that when we end up in the drawing, finally, we're going to have a little variations from cooler to middle red to a little more orange red. So I'll just, I'm going to start with bringing that into the drawing as I build it. Okay, back to my uh, Scarlet Lake. Now as I do this, I'm trying to blend the edges of the value as it goes from one, from the dark to a lighter version. Try to blend those edges so it seems natural. Okay, at this point I'm going to add the, the black grape to start to bring in uh, even a deeper sense of dark, but I'm not going to overly 
press my pencil like a medium pressure because I want to keep the sense of color and not just make it look gray. And what I'll do is build between the uh, dark grape, black grape color and the red so that it is going to develop with the feeling of color in it rather than, uh, than just a neutral looking shadow. And I'll just do that right at the edges where the color becomes darker and more muted. Okay, then back to the red again. I'm leaving these little light areas. <coughs> I'm leaving those, I'm not filling those in too much right at this moment because if I I do it too much I'm going to lose the lose the contours here the edges so I'm going to wait till I bring the the dark up more Now, I'm going to add a little um, phthalo violet, or you could get another pencil that's a little bit more of a, moves towards the magenta. Because in some areas here, I just seem to feel a little more of a magenta feeling, but not too much, just uh, I have, there's just some areas here where as it goes into the dark it seems more seems more of a cooler magenta like feel to it you can do this with a, a magenta pencil or anything that moves towards the magenta towards the purple but still red
Okay, then back to the Scarlet Lake. And I use that in areas that seem to be a little warmer. So see, I'm, I'm kind of differentiating these little patches, very soft, soft edge, little shape patch areas. I'm trying to bring those out. So right in here, there's kind of a shape, these little shadow shapes in here. They're really kind of like a patch of color that's more curvilinear. Okay, and then I'll bring the black back in, or, or rather the black grape. Then the red on top of it again. So just back and forth, doing one little layer and then another layer, trying to <clears throat> get the value correct as well as the color. Too much of the black grape, it will look kind of dead in terms of color. So I gotta always add that back in. So slowly you build the drawing, slowly. So I'm... So I'm gonna do a... Um, I'm gonna do a sort of a light burnishing. I mean, it's medium pressure here, but I'm not trying to make it all blended just with burnishing. I'm just trying to darken the color or mix the color a little more. It's better, better stated. Just mix the color a little bit. See what I'm, I have in terms of the color because when you burnish it does change this color sense a little bit. Makes it darker. Okay, so that gives me a better idea where I'm at with the color. Okay, now at this point, um, roughly have it as organized to reflect the overall light and shadow. It needs to be developed a fair amount more. But what I would do at this point is take each area and focus in an area and then try to basically kind of duplicate what I see here. So for instance, down at the bottom, I need to go darker with the grape. Um, I've got the red going here. So I'm gonna kind of build again here with the red. It seems a little bit more magenta to me, so I'll use this uh, phthalo violet. Okay, then I'll use the black grape. 